So we're going to be taking a look at an HP OfficeJet Pro 8025E all-in-one printer that's available from thinkpenguin.com. So this printer is a great printer for any GNU Linux user out there. Um, doesn't really matter whether you're using Ubuntu or Linux Mint or Trisco or probably GNU Linux Libre or some other distribution. Um, because it's free software friendly, uh, basically there's a complete set of source code for the drivers and it will work with any, uh, any recent distribution. So we are dem demonstrating this on a Kubuntu 2010 release. Now, most of the functionality, except for the automatic document feeder, will work with older releases as well, actually. Um, but for the automatic document feature functionality, you do need a little bit newer release. So if you don't have that, don't expect the automatic document feeder part of this um, to actually work. All right. So we're going to go ahead and cover a little bit of uh, the functionality of this. So this printer is an all-in-one, which means it can print, scan, copy, and fax, at least this particular all-in-one. All right, so this printer is basically the starter um, OfficeJet uh, printer for the all-in-one OfficeJet Pro lineup. It is going to support up to 20 pages per minute in black and up to 10 pages in color. Higher end versions, for example, the HP OfficeJet Pro 90 25e all-in-one printer uh, which is also available from thinkpenguin.com that model um, has faster printing speed um, and i believe it has additional um, pages that will fit into I believe i believe it's the paper uh, paper tray so the automatic document feeder on this model has, has support for up to 35 pages so that means you can basically you know scan uh in, in our case we're actually gonna be scanning an fbi warrant um or part of one as just a demonstration um i have a free the crypto six t-shirt on basically there were some people in the community that got arrested here and well i happen to have a copy of the warrant so um we're gonna scan a couple pages from it uh, so and if you ever thought it couldn't happen to you well <laughs> it might so just uh Sometimes the paranoia isn't, you know, the paranoia isn't actually all that paranoid. It's not all that real. It's just, uh, you know, it, sometimes it, you're not doing anything wrong, but it, it happens. All right. So, um, so this does have the print copy scan. Um, it does support printing from like smartphones and tablets. It has wireless capabilities as well. Um, it does have uh, USB. It does have your faxing as well capabilities if you have a pots line anyway all right um it does support hp high yield cartridges so it's it's basically you're going to get more than a couple hundred pages out of these cartridges if you get the high yield ones um it's not quite that of a laser printer um, where you'll get thousands of pages generally all right it does have support for duplex printing so basically that means you can print on uh, both sides of the paper automatically now it's important when you're looking at printers to realize that not all printers have hardware support um so it might say duplex printing but you don't actually really have duplex printing or at least not automatic duplex printing where it will automatically print on both sides of the paper um, sometimes they have manual duplex printing and it can get a little confusing where because you actually have to like flip the papers over and stuff with that so this actually does have real hardware support and duplex printing on this and we're actually going to demonstrate that um, that's one of those features that um, i think is worth demonstrating so we're going to go ahead and do that and after we've basically uh, demoed the automatic document feeder we're going to go ahead and demonstrate the duplex printing that's built into this printer all right so here we go so i'm going to give you guys an up close shot of this printer and then we're going to go and move over to our screen here and sh open up our document scanner so as i said when you plug it in at least via usb it will automatically um, add the printer and if it doesn't you can just run the add printer wizard in your distribution um, if you are doing a network connectivity um, you might you might not uh, there's a slight chance that your distribution doesn't automatically add the printer um, so if it's a network connected then then you may need to run the add printer wizard all right so I've, it's gone, gone ahead and it's picked up 
the printer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and hit the scan button. You might need to tell it, depending on your scanning program that you're using, uh, to use the automatic document scanner. I'm going to go ahead and go over to our overhead here. And as you can see, it is automatically taking each of those pages. I'm only doing two pages because, well, I'm sure most people don't want to sit through an hour long video. All right, and you can see that. And let's go back to our live view. And you can see that we have two pages of this warrant here. All right, um, once this is finished scanning, uh, basically to print double-sided, all you gotta do is go to these little three arrows here, or lines I should say, and select print and then select the printer and if you go to page setup you will want to change it from two-sided where it says uh, next to two-sided it says one side you're going to want to change it to long edge standard and then if you click print it will go ahead and print so notice how it's printing on one side obviously but it's going to what I like to describe as eat what it prints and then flip it over and print on the other side so that's a nifty feature and that's called duplex printing So you can see that we've printed now on both sides. All right, so that's it for uh, this demo here. There's not really uh, that much to the printer, uh, but it does have a lot of nifty features that may not be on some of the older lower end Office Jet all-in-one printers. So this is a great upgrade if you are looking for a basic all-in-one Office Jet printer that's not the bottom of the barrel basically um there there are some let's just put it this way there's definitely some lower end all-in-one printers that don't have all the functionality of this 